So you might have a compound inequality that needs solving. So if we look at this one right here, it's an and. And what's special about this and one is that, um, you know, we've got all of this stuff in the middle here, and then we've got two inequality signs here. So if I'm looking in the middle here, I'm trying to get x by itself. So I need to get rid of the 3 and I need to get rid of the minus 8. We always get rid of the green guys first. So I'm going to add 8. But the question remains, where do I add 8? So I add 8 there, obviously, but normally I do it to the other side. But if you look at this, I actually have more than one other side. Because right now I'm kind of on the inside, and I could do it here on the right side, and I could do it here on the left side, and I should. I'm actually going to add 8 three times because I have all of this going on. Okay, so I add 8 all those times, so that cancels out, and I get 6 is less than or equal to 3x is less than or equal to 18. And if you struggle with this, it might actually help to draw the lines like I did, so you can actually see that you did it on the inside and the two outsides. Then I have to get rid of the 3, so I divide everything by 3 on all sides, and I get 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 6. And then I can graph those, so I've got a 2 and a 6, uh, let's see, it's equal to 6 and it's less than. It's equal to 2 and it's greater than. So I've got this um, connection in between. And so this would be, um, my answer is all of this. I have the inequality statement and I have the graph. And so that would be my answer to the and problem here. Now or is actually simpler because or is separated by the word or. So we solve each one separately. So I subtract one from both sides. I get three x is less than three, divide by three on both sides, x is less than one. Or, then I go over here and do this one as if I'm doing a whole nother problem. So it's like two problems in one, divide by two, and I get x is greater than six. So I've actually got all of that going on. And then I have to graph them both in the same one, and I put my numbers where they belong. x is greater than six, x is less than one. And so I get this graph where they're going in opposite directions.